Welcome back to Care Starts Chronicle. I'm Sean Bowman, and with me today is Arthur Mountain from Mountain Farm and Mickey. How you doing, Arthur? Good, Sean, and you? I'm doing pretty good. How you, how you making out this winter? It's been a hard winter. <laughs> a lot of snow, uh, a lot of shoveling, um, but it's going well. That puppy's a killer, isn't it? Just a cutie. Yeah, yeah. This is a, one of the guys that we had this winter and uh, going to be a fixture in our home. We're looking at he's going to be one of our new future studs. All right. And you have, a, you have a few puppies now already, right? Yes, we do. Um, most of them are spoken for. We still have three nice chocolates left um, that are ready to go. They're actually, they're all males. All males? Yeah. Yeah. All the females have left. and um, So now it's down the last few. Down the last few. But they few. keep coming, right? Yes, sir, they do. And uh, the, uh, tell the folks about the, the farm and what you offer. Well, we, uh, we're staying with everything we usually do. Um, we're breeding a lot of pigs. We'll probably have 200 to 250 piglets this spring. Uh, we raise a lot and we sell a lot of piglets. We sell a lot of holes and halves for pigs. Uh, we raise our own beef. We have our own breeding herd now. Um, we do basically um, Angus and Hereford. Uh, and we do our meat chickens. And we're going to have plenty of Thanksgiving turkeys, which we sold out early last year. And I had to turn people away. Really? So we're going to do a lot more this year. Big and demand for that, I imagine. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's a once a year thing. and, and they're all fresh, free-range turkeys. And there's a big difference in taste. Yes, yeah. And some of the people that have never had it before, they keep coming back. After, you know. You get hooked. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you do. Uh, then we have our eggs, and I think since last time we we ex expanded into raw milk. Um, and that's going well. Yes, yeah. Uh, we've been doing it now for just about a year, and it takes time to build it. Oh yeah. But. Um, how many milkers you have? We are milking three. We have four. Uh, and actually, we're going to go buy one more tomorrow. We're trying to get our dates worked to be able to dry the cows up and, and be able to keep uh, the right amount of supply for our customers. Rotations yeah. kind of thing. Yes. So, Arthur, how are the uh, beef sales going for you? Beef is, is very good. Um, we've been doing winter markets all, all, all winter in, in where. Every Friday is a pre-order thing, so um, Wendy Stevens runs that, and she does a email like on, on Mondays. Everybody pre-orders by Wednesdays, and we bring them down on Friday. And we just started another new market in Milford. Um, that's been once a month, and we just did it Saturday, and it, they're doing a great job with this stuff. And there's just a huge demand for this. So Arthur, they, even though it's not summer, um, they're still having farmers markets throughout the state? Yes, yep. There's a big one in Concord. Um, we're not involved with that one. And there's a lot of others that um, more on the seacoast and stuff. But there's more and more developing here in our area. There's a bigger demand for locally grown products. Yes, yeah. And more and more people are getting geared, trying to get geared up to do it and keep winter supplies of vegetables. Really? Yeah. But as far as the meat sales, we, we've been very happy. Um, sometimes it's hard to stay properly stocked. <laughs> you have to manage, you can only, yeah. they only grow at a certain rate, right? Yep, yep. So we're always trying to plan, and it's not always easy. No. But he woke up, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, little Mickey. <laughs> the, and how about the eggs? Uh, what we do is, is they're just starting to lay again. Um, we don't run lights in the winter or anything. We, we give the chickens their time off. Uh, we have uh, about 100 that are running free down back. Um, and we also got another 120, 25 new ones in that are, that are growing now. Wow. So we'll, we'll end up 220, 230 laying chickens for this year. Wow. That yeah, keeps no. you busy, I'm sure. Yes. The best part is it's free range, so, you know, there's. Uh, they're out running around, so there's not a lot of cleaning, and that's how we we free range everything, and there's not as much cleaning where I don't think we could do it if we didn't free range them. <laughs> yeah, it'd be a lot, a lot more work going yep. on there. Yeah. So, and they can find stuff. You have a website? Yeah, it's mountainfarm.biz, um, and everything's on that. We try to update it quite often as um, need be. Um, 
So it, and we're getting a lot of hits on it all the time. And you list all the farmers markets you're at? Yes, we do. We have a we have directions to the farm, the farmers markets we're at, um, all our prices of what we offer, uh, pictures of puppies, some of the animals. Yep. Um, the little piglets and everything. So yeah, everything's right there. Um, or you can even call four five six two seven three nine. Excellent, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you, Sean. Check in on his place, and uh, once again, something wonderful's happening in Warner. Back to you.